Yo! A little bit of a different scene this morning. We're outside. It's 8.30 in the morning. It's Easter Sunday actually. So happy Easter to all you guys. Well, by the time you're watching this, it's not going to be Easter. Today I'm going to do a full day of eating, but I'm eating off track or I'm not tracking at all. So it's going to be a full day of eating. Pretty much what I want. Within reason. We're not going full Bruce Bogtrotter mode here. But, because it is because it is Easter Sunday and we want to enjoy some food and we want to enjoy some treats that's what we're gonna do and I hit my goal weight yesterday which I'm bleeding delighted with um, so yeah everything's buzzing everything's going good training's going well diet's going well yeah I feel healthy I feel fit two weeks is it two weeks it's 12 days to my 30th I'm bleeding 30 in 12 days man oh man I feel like I I feel like I should do something crazy do you know what I mean? Do you ever get to that stage in your life where you're like, man, I feel like I haven't done enough. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. I'm at that sort of stage where I feel like I've not done enough yet and I need to just do some. It's almost like a midlife crisis, but or a third life, third of life crisis, if you get me. Um, you kind of get it around your 25th birthday. So if any of you guys are watching and you're coming towards your 25th, you kind of get a, a little bit of a thing in your head where you feel like you should have done more at this point in your life. But trust me it happens at all stages <laughs> I promise I'm just about to head down and we're going for a 5k run with a load of people and uh, yeah myself and Jason are gonna hit the gym then I'm just gonna do a full day of eating I haven't eaten that today I just have had my regular coffee I have my bag in the back of the car I have my pre-workout or sorry my intro workout sorted I had to rob two scoops of Vivian's women's best pre-workout because I've ran out and yeah I need to make an order on iHerb soon uh, and get some new supplements man but yeah Anyway, enough off and on. Today is going to be a full day of eating off track or eating what I want. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Just rolled up outside Rock Salt. And here's the group gathering already. Look at that for a morning. Gorgeous. This is Black Rock Village. There's Rock Salt. If you guys are ever in Black Rock, you have to go to Cafe Rock Salt. It is delish. They have this like chicken and stuff and sambo it's like an open chicken and stuff and sambo oh, and ask for extra chicken phenomenal absolutely phenomenal it's my favorite thing there it's about maybe 22 people there already and it's literally it's only 25 to 10 or 25 to 9 should i say but yeah lovely morning for us out for a run with a load of good people getting fit getting healthy getting a nice little sweat earning that sunday dinner earning that easter easter grub I don't know, get killed here walking across the road just for the YouTube sun. And that's it done. 5k in 26 and a half minutes. 500 calories done already. Now it's time for a nice little coffee and a chat with all these people. 5k done, which was relatively okay actually considering considering how much training on lower body we've done this week <laughs> but yeah now it's time to get into the gym and actually get a workout done we're starting on close grip pull down and a bench press and it's all just high rep stuff just getting a little pump nothing heavy staying light on the weight all 15 20 reps getting a little pump but we're also discussing where has the best donuts <laughs> right we're, already. We, think, we think we think it's the rolling donut I have had Krispy Kreme before. Oh. Jason, you haven't had Krispy Kreme, have you? Oh, I had, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you think? I'm not touching it. See, they're made velvet. And the apple ones. Oh, I like it. Delish. Okay, comment below where the best donuts are in Ireland. Or where the best donuts are where you're at. <laughs> We're seeing the rolling donuts. Um, offbeat in Dublin. They're up there as well. And uh, Krispy Kreme is kind of like, it's a little bit further down the list. Uh, I had Krispy Kreme yesterday, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it wasn't. I don't think it lives. I think it, I think Krispy Kreme's hyped up too much. Yeah, too much talk. Too much talk. And, and, the, and the donuts are actually smaller than the rolling donut ones. The like, donuts make one of them little hidden gems, man. It's like under a staircase. Like, <laughs> yeah, into Narnia. <laughs> so that's us done. Thousand calories. Five k run. Little upper body pump. No. Jumping into the sauna for a little bit, just get a bit of a stretch because the body's obviously a little bit sore from the week of training. Get a little bit of recovery in the sauna. Just got home and the house is empty. Dogs are outside, 
no idea where my auntie is, no idea where my mum is, and Viv has gone to a shoot. So I'm, I'm me fucking tired. And for once, I'm in real people clothes. Check this out. Yes, mate, I do wear real clothes from time to time. You guys never bleed and see me in them, but anyway. Haven't had anything to eat yet, and it is... Why am I looking at two clocks? I, I looked at my watch and then I looked at the clock and I'm like, well, that's so silly. Anyway, it's 20 past 12. I haven't eaten yet. Um, and I tell you what I'm craving. Weirdly. Very oddly. A chicken fillet roll. Haven't had one in ages, but I am craving a chicken fillet roll. And I'm going to seek out one of the nicest chicken fillet rolls in my area. It's a shop called Joe's. It's on the Dublin Road. <laughs> this means nothing to any of you guys that, like, unless you know the area. But anyway, chicken fillet roll is going down, and I'm kind of craving uh, a salted caramel for fill bar. Yes, this is kind of a boring sort of first meal. I get it, I get it again. Bear with me, we still have the rest of the day to go. So, we're gonna have a nice day today. Also, before I go and get my chicken fillet roll, I don't know about you, right, but my mum is the biggest feeder ever. Comment below if your mum's like this, or your parents are like this. Like, when you're trying to be super healthy, when you're trying to be really good with your diet, they come in with like, biscuits or sweets, or like, oh I got you this. Wait till I show you what my mum has sort of built up for me and Viv. This is in like a shopping bag. Look, she got us an Easter egg each. All right, so I got a dairy milk one, Viv got um, a caramel one. She got us, a share bag of caramel nibble bites. She got us, well she got me, a full tub of the Reese's chocolate spread. There's 2,200 calories in that tub on its own. She got Viv caramel spread. She actually came in with these the other day when I was trying to do a full day of keto. She was like, oh here, look, I got you these. I'm trying to do a carb woman. Anyway, she's got us these little mini eggs, dairy milk with dime or dame or whatever you call them. White chocolate, peanut butter cups, regular peanut butter cups. And then a giant big bag of jellies. Because she knows I love jellies. Like, what the hell is she trying to do to me, man? I'm trying to get myself or keep myself in good shape. Parents are the bane. They can be the best people in the world, but they can also be a hindrance as well. They're trying to be good, and they try and destroy your diet. So this is Joe's shop. And it genuinely has one of the nicest chicken fillet rolls ever. It's on the Dublin road, main road here. Phenomenal. Just back from the shop, got the chicken fillet rolls. This is what we're dealing with here. This is normally hangover food, but a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of mayo, a little bit of coleslaw, two spicy chicken fillets, and then I've got a little bit of sweet for after for fill bars, and I also got a pack of fruit gums. So good. Fresh roll is so nice, isn't it? So good. Something so simple, isn't it? It's just so nice. Bursting with chicken. See if you can get me mouth around this. Mmm. -mm. Try to attack this from both sides. Okay. Chicken fillet roll done. Yes, mate. Full fill bar. Probably the nicest one.
just trying to make sure I get decent protein into it as well, not just eating pure garbage. These are my favourite jellies. Oh, they're like, they're like really hard, but they stick to your teeth. But they're so nice. You can actually fit these into your macros if you're being like, if you're on track. They're only 100. And, what is it? 146 calories for the whole pack. So if you actually have, like, you can't work them in, even being in a calorie deficit. So, fruit cones, equivalent any jellies. They kind of make you feel like as well. They kind of make you feel like you're. You've got loads of them because you have to actually spend time chewing the shit out of them. But uh, man, this and just pick a mix in general are my favorite jellies. Comment below what your favorite sweets actually. I'd love to know what you guys love to know what your favorite sweets are. Comment below and let me know what your favorite sweets are. Okay, feeling like, feeling like a donut. We got these yesterday in the rolling donut. Picked them up and we actually gave some donuts away because we got a 12 pack and uh, we were stuffed from food yesterday. But anyway, check this out. So we have some red velvet. I think this is lime and coconut. Nutella, cookies and cream, Kinder Bueno. Which one will I have? I might have this one. And I have two. Okay. And the brand one's going down too. At least there's there's one, two, how many's left? Six. At least there's six left, so people can't get mad at me. Two Kinder of Bueno here. Nutella here. Cut them in half and just have a little look inside. Oh yeah. These are dense man. Look at that. Okay. Let's get it on this side. So so good. There's just something about donuts that are just, I know, next level in donuts. Let's cut the can of one and a half. Oh man. Look at that. So good. Okay. What way do I approach this? This way. Wow. Holy God. That is like. <clears throat> that is like the densest thing I've ever eaten. Oh my god. Okay. Here's the plan. Half Nutella. Half Kinder Bueno. See them? Let's put them together. As one hella dense donut. That's all, it's about the size of my head. I'm gonna try to take a bite of both and get the filling on both. Kind of winner this side, Nutella this side. Oh my god. I have to eat around this so I can get another bite of the, of the two fillings together. But, oh my god. Okay. Man. Have you ever eaten like... Have you ever eaten like a spoon of Nutella? And it's like... 
you're literally trying to like get saliva to get it down. That's what this is like. It's like the most like dense chocolate cake you've ever eaten in your life. One big bite, Nutella and <laughs> excuse me, I'm getting the hiccups now because I'm eating too fast. And the kinder. Oh, that was epic. Epic. If you ever try this, tag me on my Instagram. Cut a Nutella donut in half. Cut a Kinder donut in half. Smash them together and lob it into your gob. Mom. So, so good. <laughs> now I'm going to go up and do online coaching work. probably find it hard to not fall asleep because I'll be in a carb coma I'm eating all this shit anyway I'll be done for a little while she's back she's back in my life I was on my, I was on my own all day <laughs> for now I was on my own all day I ended up polishing off the rest of those jellies didn't even fucking give you one you wouldn't have, actually, to be honest, to be fair, genuinely, you, you wouldn't have liked them, which you wouldn't like them. Yeah, sure. Anyway. You mailed the whole bag, you wouldn't like them. You definitely wouldn't. Vivian was at a shoot today. Go over to my auntie's, my auntie's cooking Sunday dinner. And you can't eat Sunday roast without some gravy. Ready to rock? Yes. These are the new leggings, look. Hashtag code is, plug. What is it? What is it? Hashtag shameless plug. Shameless plug Vivian 10, isn't it? Yeah. If you want a little discount off. They're actually so comfy. Like, genuinely feel like I'm wearing my pajamas. Feel like you're wearing nothing at all. <laughs> Some of her for activities, you know? Stupid sexy Flanders. Do you guys ever get like that? You kind of like, you big up having something nice or you big up having something sweet. And then when it comes to actually having it, you're just like, me. It's me straight. How is it? So just here, call up to my auntie's house and the Sunday spread is on. Chicken, ham, mm. um, oh, yeah, dog. We've got to do that for you. A rabbit and a bunch. Because Darwin was fun. No, no he wasn't. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day. And we've just come over to say, where is this? Super Value? <laughs> I thought we were going to say Centra. I thought we were going to say Centra. Super Value. And yeah, grab some beers, man, because it's a lovely day out here. Oh, man. Nice little romantic walk home, huh? With the love <laughs> of my life. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a few beers. Uh, a little bit of chill with the fam. What else? It's chilly. It is chilly. Food. A little bit of food. A lot of food. A lot of food. Um, had some breadsticks and some hummus. Yeah, you had a lot of breadsticks in the house. I had like I one did. breadstick. We had Sunday dinner, which was delish. And now we're just rocking home, walking, trying to get the gut moving. Yeah, it's actually good that we're walking home just to like, we wouldn't feel as sluggish like. Yeah. A bit tipsy. Even though we're like, we're like two balls. my auntie's house is like round that corner there, and we live like 200 yards this way, so we're not really making, we're not really trekking the Mordor here. So <laughs> round the corner, we're just gonna go home and chill. I might have a beer when I get home. You know that. Why not? I'm living a bit wild today, man. You are three beers, -I -L -D. son. Wild. <laughs> three beers. Who am I? Huh? Who are you? <laughs> okay, so it is five past nine and we just got home and I have a little gin and tonic and I don't think Vivian is having any more to drink because she is working in the morning so she has to be in Dublin for 8am I think and we're sharing when I mean when I say sharing, obviously I'm eating the majority of them of 
Reese's Mini Peanut Butter Cups. I feel like I actually haven't done that much damage today in terms of things that I've wanted to eat because when it's come to it, I'm kind of like, oh, I'm, like I'm stuffed already, you know that kind of way? And there's no obviously point in force feeding yourself because that's stupid as well. We had sort of an idea that we were gonna order pizza tonight, but I'm not sure I think Viv's as full as I am, pretty much. Um, but we'll see, the night is still young. But uh, yeah, if we get in, we'll keep you guys up to date. Chilling out, we got a Domino's deal. Wedges, garlic pizza bread, and a medium pizza between us. Yeah, we're actually being good, we can get a large pizza, we got a medium. We got a medium. I'm watching Jurassic Park 3. It's on Netflix. I actually love Jurassic Park. I know, it's so good. We're only talking about we're going to Universal Studios in August. August. And we're talking about all the like Jurassic Park stuff there, so this is getting us hyped. Oh, hyped! So excited! And it's four months away. What are you doing? 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 Viv got. Pepperoni, mushroom, and sweet corn. And I got, I think it's like a Catalan chicken and chorizo. There's like peppers as well on it. Lovely. Oh my god. We're both dead, aren't we? In a food coma. We have six donuts left. We're not eating six donuts. We're obviously not going to eat six. But. We barely even ate like our Easter stuff. Like we barely ate our Yeah, Easter we haven't stuff. really touched our Easter. I mean, didn't stuff. I say each other if we definitely But we're gonna take a little bit of donut up and chip away at it. I'll show you which ones we have left. Red velvet, Boston cream, cookie dough. This one's like an apple crumble, apple tart, Nutella. And then this one is lime and coconut. So I think we're going to have half of that and half of that. And that is me done. All day of eating pure shit. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I feel horrendous. I don't know how anybody does these food challenges on a regular basis because it's not fun. Feeling so stuffed. It was nice to be able to sort of eat what I want and get all of my sort of little, I wouldn't say cravings because I kind of eat what I want daily anyway, but things that let's say wouldn't normally fit into my sort of daily calories and daily macros, it was nice to kind of eat those. I'd say I've eaten well over 5,000 and yeah, I'm a bit. If I had probably had a little sleep in the middle of the day, I probably would have been a little bit okay. <laughs> I just kept going. We're gonna sign out this vlog because it's been hella long. Say good night, Kevin. Good night, Kevin. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a little thumbs up if you did, and uh, catch you guys in the next one.